In 1546, the word bastion was introduced into the world, and it was regarded as one of the pillars of security in military terms. And these bastions were placed at each corner of the fort to protect the castle from the persistent attacks, making them the strong line of defense. Not exactly like this, but I hope you're getting the point. Even after many centuries, this word bastion remains a preventive measure for potential attacks, and the attacks have now changed from the ground. to cyber intrusions for that let's talk more about bastion hosts and let's learn how it can protect our instances so if you're ready let's begin and in today's episode we will be talking about what are bastion hosts and how they work and we'll do a short hands on demo for bastion hosts as well and all the timelines are provided in the description below so please check them out so now let's understand what is a bastion host by definition as per aws a bastion host is a server whose purpose is to provide access to a private network from an external network such as the internet for members who are not aware of what bastion host is listen to me very carefully Before trying to decipher the above statement, let's break bastion host into two parts. I hope everyone is aware of what a host is. So a host is nothing but an entity that receives or entertains other people who are the guests, isn't it? But not all guests are good and shouldn't be allowed into the house as well. So for that, we use a bastion, which has a rule set which prevents unwanted guests from entering the house. the same way bastion host is a server whose purpose is to provide access to a private network for the users who are from an external network or maybe the public internet like the way we see in the visual here we have the bastion users who want access to the instances placed in the private subnet through the bastion host which resides in the public subnet the simplest way to achieve bastion host protection is to allow ssh access only through the ip of the bastion host by placing the restrictions in the security group of the private instances and the bastion users that you see here they actually connect to the bastion host in order to connect to the linux instances that we have so as you can see we have the bastion host placed in the public subnet and all our instances are placed in the private subnet so they don't have public access but if they want to access those instances they have to connect to the bastion host through which they will be able to talk to the private instances similar to what we see here we have our bastion users who want to enter the castle and others who are a potential threat who don't have the access and our bastion host prevents them from entering the castle and thus giving a level of security and authentication to our private instances now let's do a hands on demo for bastion host and let's see how it works but as we know that the bastion host is basically a server that is present in the public subnet so we have to create a instance which will act as our bastion host and through which we will be able to talk to the private instances so let's create our bastion host and let's allow the traffic from the bastion host to the private subnet so this is our ec2 console and let's create our bastion host here so bastion host is nothing but i'll just create a instance in the public subnet so that's the most interesting part that i want to tell you but it's not the exact way to create a bastion host there are several other ways to create it like using the using proxy authentications as well so now let's launch the instance i'll use the amazon linux 2 the t2.micro and i'll create this instance in the vpc demo and i'll create it inside the public subnet enable this and i don't think so we have to do anything else just click on next and here this is also fine just add tags so here i'll just give it a name bastion host demo that's it just click on next and we can create a security group for this one i'll just give it a name for bastion host security group that's it and i'll just allow ssh connection to this one ssh and just click on review and launch and here i want to create a new key pair so this key pair will be bastion this so i can just download the key pair now and i'll just save it 
please don't forget that if you lose this key, there is no going back. So please keep it safe. As it has been rightly mentioned here, you will not be able to download the file again after it is created. So now just click on launch instance. Let's wait for some time for it to come up. So now our Bastion host is running. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to restrict the access for the private instance only from your Bastion host. So for that, what do you need to do? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the security group for this private instance. So go to, so click on private one, that is a private instance, go to security. You have the security group here, just click on this. And I'll just edit the inbound rules and I'll allow it from my Bastion host security group. And I'll just save it. Now the source only is from the Bastion host security group. And here, this is not a problem. We have just restricted it to the Bastion host. So now the next thing that we want to do is we want to connect to this instance, isn't it? So now let's connect to the Bastion host. Go ahead and copy the public IP address. And here, just do SSH EC2 user at the rate. Copy this public IP, paste it here, hyphen I, and the key, bastionaccess.pem. Okay, so this key has bad permissions. So what you need to do is, for this, so there's the file, just click on properties. So you can see her security, right? So now you have to edit the permission. So what you need to do is you need to go to advanced. I'll just remove all the inheritance from the object. And now I'll just add and I'll just click on add and select a principal. I'll add my username. Click on check names. Yeah, I got it. So read access and read. Okay. And just apply this and save it. Now go back to the terminal once again. Yes, you are able to connect. So remember, if you face any problems for bad permissions in Windows, you can just do what I did. Or if you are in Mac, then you can just do a ch mode 400 to the same file. And you can just change the permissions. That will work, not a problem. So now this is the Ashton host that we have here right now. This is nothing but the public instance. And we have to go back and we have to check the IP address of the private instance that we have. So go back and click on the private IP and copy the private IP of this one and just come back. But one more thing is here also we have a private instance that uses a private key. So we have to make use of that. So I have to just copy the same private key that I'm going to use to connect to the private instance. Just do a CD home EC2 user and I'll just create a EC2 key here. Now I have to change the permission as I told you before, ec2 hyphen key. So what I did, ch mode 400 ec2 hyphen key dot pen. That's it. So now what I have to do, I have to just type ec2 hyphen user at the rate. I'll just copy the private IP that I have and I'll paste it. Hyphen I and ec2 hyphen key. Just enter. That's it. Yes. Now we are able to talk to the private instances using a bastion host. But you might say that we can use any other public instance that we have and try to connect to the private instance because it can work that way as well. But we have added this to the security group for our private instance. So this should work only through this bastion host. But if you want to test, I can test it again. I have a public instance here and I'll try to connect to the private instance to this one. So I'll just close it. And I'll open this once again. And this is the public instance that I have. I can just copy the public address of this one. And I'll try to connect to this. Okay. So from here, I try to connect to the private instance. Let's copy the IP address, now we'll do EC2 hyphen user at the rate IP address hyphen I EC2 hyphen key dot pen. No, you cannot connect to this one because the access is only through the bastion host. 
isn't it interesting but this is not the exact way we create a bastion host in the in the real time or the real time scenario or with security hardening but this is a simple way to understand how a bastion host actually works so i hope you enjoyed the today's session of bastion hosts and if you did please like share and comment on what you liked what you didn't and if you wish to support me all the links to insta mojo paypal and patreon are in the description below so i'll meet you in the next one until then it's pythonic signing off